Hello everyone, I'm Jisoo and today I will be ranking some of the most iconic LCK plays of all time sent over by you the fans, so let's get started. Let's go LCK! Woo! So this is very long ago, I can say, look at the graphics. Nice! I definitely remember watching this play, like not live, but this was like one of the plays that everyone just knows about because like this is the medlife hook and when he was more like an active like pro player whenever someone hits their hook or Q in solo queue in Korean server everyone was just like spamming MM that stands for medlife amen so mimin and um, that play very long ago but still iconic everyone remembers that these days we have church of chovi you know we do this but back in the days we had the medlife amen can I put him M level, like MM level. So I don't want to give him a C. This is just like Medline his, himself. So I just want to give him his own tier that no one can actually like be part of. I, I think it might sound a little weird because uh, I want to say Tom one because after LCK had a bit of a, I want to say like hiatus internationally, they were not, you know, doing like the best LCK kind of dynasty era ish accomplishments they were not winning like finals or they were not even making finals for two three years i remember like starting 2018 to like 2019 those were the dark days of the lck and damon gaming was the one that kind of miraculous miraculously just show up from the pc bang league and then they have become a, like challengers team and then they became lck team and then in the end they brought the glory back to the lck so i i think they were one of the ones that started off another dynasty in the lck but soon after i think also lck dynasty started with their um you know runs so these days uh we don't really go back think back and say like oh yeah they were the goats and stuff but i think they were they are my goats in my heart and also uh it was really sad to see some of the players kind of go away a little too quick after their like world championship so i wish uh you know they were talked a little bit, bit more often and i still you know they are like my roman empire i feel still think about them and I think maybe the ruse was a bit too cunning. Oh, Whoa! Oh That's like the Dream Galio play. I think I remember this game, especially. I think I was making this show. And then DRX, Genji, they were, I think this was one of the most um, high stake games um, back in the time. So it was a very important game for both of them. And the team fight was crazy. Everyone was just dying. And then Chovy somehow found the anger and angle and got four people taunted and like kill them all this is like I, it's crazy that i just got the medlife play and then now i'm getting chovy play it's so so like church of chovy and also the medlife amen so this is crazy i think it's one of the best plays i have seen from chovy so far let me put him on church of chovy nice and then i'll put chovy up here so like looking back at this names DRX Doran, DRX Pilsic, DRX Chovy, DRX Theft, and DRX Caria. Like, I still remember their faces when they were on DRX because they were so young. I could tell they are rookies, they're, they're really young, and they were just like little kids following Theft's lead. You know, he was the older brother on the roster leading all the players, and the rest of were like babies. And it was, it's just amazing that all four players alongside with Deft and ended up finding a huge glory and success uh, in the pro scene and this just line of strings brings, brings me back so much great memories and I'm just happy for them. Oh my god. Han is just like built different I think. And he lives. Oh, that's crazy. And I think this was like a match point for Longzhu for LCK finals. I think just professionally playing Jace in this kind of a high stake game is a big risk. And he managed to, you know, opt into it. And then he carried the game 
I think Khan, I still think Khan is one of the best, if not the best top laners we had in the LCK because even up until now, his win rate in the LCK is about like 70%, so that's crazy. I'm not gonna rank him, I'm, he's out of my list because it's heartbreaking to see my, my husband <laughs> to lose a final like this, so I'm not gonna give him any rank, rank but still props to his amazing play. Oh. He just flashed on top of Realm in this kind of a decisive moment. Wow. I want to watch it one more time. Also, they were like down in numbers. Oh my god, yeah. They were already on Soul Point and then. DK was having two members down. I think it's a like collaboration of Khan Jace and Showmaker LeBlanc. Uh, because Khan was able to chunk down the opponents with like empowered Q, Showmaker found the angle as well to jump on top of the enemies. I know like watching this play in my head, I can like, yeah, because they're low, I can just like, you know, W in as LeBlanc and like kill one of them, but you know. At this point, like this was finals and T1 was um, having the edge. I don't think anyone can actually easily pull that off, but Showmaker managed to do it. So props to Showmaker. I think this play like solidified himself as a, one of the best LCK mid laners. So I will give this S. So these two are already good and then S tier for Showmaker. Obviously, Faker just is on a GOAT level, so he's like the best player in the LCK, not just the LCK history, I want to say a lot of sports history. And then I want to give second to Showmaker and Chovy. I think they were, they are definitely sitting on my top two level, but I can't even like compare them. They have, I think stylistically, they are a little bit different, but also kind of similar, but I think Showmaker, he's more on the like mage god line, but Chovy, he not only plays a lot of mage champions, but also play a lot of like AD melee champion and sometimes even crazy tank picks on the mid lane like Zion. So we have those are the also the best mid laners uh, we had in history. And then also I want to go back to the old days and give one over to Pawn because he also one of our LCK world champions so he de definitely deserves a spot on my top 5 list and for the last one um, let me think about it no I want to give one to BDD he is also one of the consistent players for such a long time in the LCK because uh, I remember around the time he was like debuting he was already under so much spotlight because I think he started in CJ Entus and he was already a, like a trainee um, in the team and everyone was really excited to see him debut at the LCK. They were just, I think, waiting for him to like, you know, have like turn 17 after his birthday. So I think he was one of the most promising rookie everyone was waiting for. And then he proved himself and still uh, being one of the best LCK mid laners right now is amazing. They take it out though, it's still risky, even with Pina down. Gangplank Oat is up, remember. Rox Tigers fighting for their tournament life. Uh, here. This is such fighting a nail biter. Oh my god. <laughs> when I was like watching it, I was sure like score got the Baron. Like because no one was near the Baron on the uh, Tiger side. So, and then I saw like blue tag happening on the right side of my screen I'm like wait blue team got it I thought it was red team and then turned out it was 2 HP still from from the gangplank I was I was actually like watching it live and I I was at the at the venue watching it with the live audience and then it was it was heartbreaking and also it was amazing because also, I, I'm pretty sure Rox was one of the teams that was that was really thirsty for an LCK title, and then we also had score obviously on KT side. So uh, this is—I want to say this is like one of the most iconic plays in the LCK has ever had. Like, uh, 
I wanna I wanna put it on like up here because we had so many outplays and fancy plays before, but we never had such a like historic event like this. So I wanna give him the smap two HP or just like two HP or like just iconic. I wanna give him an iconic level because this is he is the icon and he also he made score an icon icon of smite still so yeah i'm gonna give him an icon level my personal favorite is 2018 summer where score finally won the lck it's all full circle i was i think that was the first ever like finals that i actually that i was in tears of happiness to just see a player finally achieve the lck title because like even after this unfortunate event like he was able to come back stronger keep um keep fighting for the lck title and in the end he managed to do so two years is a very long time especially for professional players and he like he didn't give up though like i know if i were him i was gonna be like severely demotivated and like would not ever want to play the game again but he did not give up he didn't he was like he was like trying to get back on the game and then in the end he got the title so like huge shout out to score Baker nightmares you wake up in a cold sweat you're like Baker's behind me I know right I'm like even though I only have a mat on the floor I think he's in the bed oh Baker may be in trouble your death mark tries to clean it up for Ryu oh look at the class look at the moves Baker, what was Baker, that? What was that? Baker, I remember that watching it when I just I started playing League because that was the play everyone was talking about. And as a like new player just started playing League, I could not get a single play of this. Like I was not understanding what was happening, but everyone was just yelling, shouting, Faker, what was that? So I was like watching this on like 0.25 speed, like trying to understand what exactly happened. And this was the moment that I learned about QSS, which actually worked uh, against Zed Alt back then. This is what kind of um, made Faker a Faker because he was already one of the like most talked LCK mid laners at the time, but that play made himself a GOAT already, so just GOAT. My favorite LCK play, or maybe a game, is 2015 Spring Playoffs SK Telecom versus CJ Antus, where Bang played Lucian. That's my absolute favorite because that's like the early days when I started watching the LCK. And then it was such a high stake game where Marion was still like teleporting on the mid lane to stop the wave and somehow SKT like was able to make a great comeback. I think it was a reverse sweep and watching the game, I was, uh, um, so Ben was playing Lucian and it was such a decisive moment, but he was somehow like running from the enemy side and he was like ulting as Lucian and then he started slowly like taking down the enemies one by one I was like amazed how a person can actually be that brave and bald in such a like risky situation and bring the team to victory but jokes aside and praising uh, like my husband right now I'm, I'm just I was the one that was watching that live and that game was so intense and crazy and entertaining that made me become a solid LCK fan. Ever since then, I was watching every LCK game and now I'm here making LCK together. Thank you so much for sending this place over and let me know in the comments how I did in this episode. I'll see you later. Bye!